How's it going guys, Coldy Plays here, and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we're going to be doing part 2 of the recasting Spider-Man villains video, so if you haven't watched part 1 then please do. And if you don't know what we're doing here today, then pretty much we're just going to be talking about 5 Spider-Man villains and who I think should be cast as them. So please enjoy and tell me your opinions in the comments, and tell me what other villains I should do in future videos. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Enjoy. So for the first villain on my list I have chosen The Sandman, a criminal named Flint Marker who is involved in a radioactic freak accident, where he is sadly turned into a living mineral. He is able to retain his human form whenever he wishes, but he can break down into an avalanche of sand and change into various shapes and sizes to aid him in combat, and his sandy structure almost makes him invulnerable to attacks. Now I'm not too familiar with Sandman in the comics, so I did struggle a bit with this one, and I went for someone who definitely has the strong physical build, the comic accurate look of Sandman, and who I think could definitely do a good job portraying this villain. So the actor I have chosen for Sandman is... And his name is John C. So yes, I've chosen John Cena as the Sandman. Now for villain number two on our list, I have gone for Electro, aka Max Dillon, an electrical engineer who was working on a power line and got caught in a freak lightning accident. That lightning accident then gave him electric powers. They were initially weak powers, but he spent some time stealing equipment from Sark Industries and used them to make his powers stronger. So for the portrayal of this character, I really wanted to go for someone who has a lot of anger, or at least can act that way. I want this character to have really bad anger management and really freak out and that shows with his electrical powers. So I went with none other than Aaron Paul, an insanely talented actor who's most well known for his role in Breaking Bad as Jesse, and I think in that he clearly shows his acting ability, and I think he could be a really good Electro. So that is why I've chosen Aaron Paul as Max Dillon, Electro. Next up on our list we have the Green Goblin, one of the most well known villains in all of Spider-Man's history. And I know Willem Dafoe did an amazing performance in Spider-Man 1, but like I said in my previous video, I'm trying to think of different actors to make this more interesting for you and more challenging for me. Green Goblin aka Norman Osborn flies around on a glider using high-tech weaponry, including Halloween themed explosives. He is exposed to a strength serum that turns him into the Goblin, and is the father of Harry Osborn, who in certain comics takes up the mantle. So for this I really wanted to stray away from the mechanical suit in Spider-Man 1 and I wanted to go for a real looking goblin. It could be a mix of practical effects and CGI like they do with Vision in Marvel, but I want him to really look hideous. Not like the Amazing Spider-Man goblin, but to actually look decently frightening. And obviously that can't all be taken care of by CGI. The actor's performance really matters. So I went with someone who I think could do an amazing performance, especially with facial expressions. So that is why I've chosen Jim Carrey as the Green Goblin or Norman Osborn. I really think he could portray a really good goblin through his body language and acting ability. Even though he plays mainly comical roles, he's actually a very good actor in some serious roles. I think if he did a mix of that in Goblin, it would really work. So yeah, Jim Carrey as Green Goblin. So for the penultimate villain on my list, I have gone for Cletus Cassidy, or Carnage. Carnage is very similar to Venom, but he's more disturbing and a lot more powerful. You see, Venom represents hatred, but Carnage represents chaos. And he is the ultimate result of evil alien merging with an evil man. So the actor I've chosen for Carnage is none other than Cameron Monaghan. There's quite a few reasons why I've chosen him. He's young, has the comic accurate look, and has a lot of experience playing an insane character, as he is seen as Jerome Valeska on Gotham, pretty much the Joker. And I know Woody Harrelson is going to play Carnage in Venom 2, but like I said, I'm choosing different actors, so I really think there is no other choice than Cameron Monaghan as Carnage. And for the final villain on this list, I have chosen Kraven the Hunter, who is a renowned big game hunter, who aims to kill Spider-Man to prove he is the best at what he does. But he maintains a code of honour and justice, treating his adversaries as equals and his inability to catch Spider-Man really takes a toll on his sanity. So for this one, I wanted to go for an actor who I think can portray someone who is clearly very smart, but also going a bit insane, and they've got to portray that proper obsession to Spider-Man. So that's why I went with Joe Kinnaman. You might know him from his role in Suicide Squad, which shows him as a very serious character, which is what I would want Craven to be in a film. I want him to be really serious and not be able to take a joke. And I think he could do a really good performance as this character. So that's why I've chosen Joe Kinnaman as Craven the Hunter. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I put a lot of effort into these videos so it would mean the world if you could like, comment, and subscribe. And please tell me your opinions in the comments. I love debating and talking with you guys. I reply to pretty much every comment. And my final message for this video is that the first episode of my podcast has officially gone live. The podcast and me and two other friends talk about movies. And for the first episode, we covered Spider-Man 2002 then please click the link in the description to go to my podcast and watch episode number one on YouTube or Spotify. Thank you for listening to that little self-promotion. And anyway, love you all, stay safe, and peace out.